The craziest thing happened and I don't even know where to start. So, this is my 2015 MacBook Pro. This thing has been with me for the better part of seven, eight years now. I got this when I entered college. It took me through all of college. It's edited all my photos, all my videos, everything for this channel, all my Skillshare classes, all, every piece of content. If I didn't edit it on a phone, if I edit it on a computer, it was done using this. And the other day, it almost killed me. Sometimes I take behind the scenes photos on sets, right? Like film sets, short films, commercials, that kind of thing. I take behind the scenes photos and like advertising photos. This is what I was doing, some promo for a film, all this kind of stuff. And as I was shooting, I had my cart set up and to transfer photos, to do all that kind of stuff. I had this there off to the side so I could transfer files, do some quick edits, stuff like that if I had to. That shot is crooked and it's bugging me. Okay, that's, that's better. So I had it plugged in because having, having this, it's been through a lot over the past eight years. And functionally right now, it's basically a desktop. Because, well, the battery is kind of shot, right? It's not, it's, it's, I can get maybe an hour of good work on it done without having it actively plugged in. If I try to export anything, five minutes in, done. It just, it, it needs to be plugged in pretty much all the time. And it's late enough now where I'm not really going to try to get the battery replaced like I could, but... A lot of times for on-the-go editing, I just use my iPad. I had it plugged in and I was using the cable that it came with because it still works. Now, it's seen some better days. I have a cable snake on it just so I make it a little more durable. But here's, here's where the problem lies. I was taking photos and I was transferring some files and suddenly I see a little, little trail of smoke and I thought that's weird and I saw a little bright light. Actually, the bright light happened first, not the light that comes on here, rather, look at this. Look at this right here, you see that? That cable is toast. And in that moment, almost so was I, because I see a little trail of smoke come from it and the bright lights start growing brighter. And immediately I ripped the cable out of my laptop, unplugged it from the power source, and you could smell smoke, you could smell burning. Nobody else really realized because it, I was off to the side in the back corner and there, it didn't grow bigger. But it almost, it almost caught on fire properly if I, did, if I wasn't right there in that moment. And I usually have this plugged in at my desk when I'm working and it could have easily, easily caught on fire when I was just at work or if I was if I was doing some work around the, my apartment or whatever, it could have just randomly caught on fire and burned down everything. So, um, let this be a lesson from me to you. Check your cables. Make sure they're intact. If you have any doubts about them, just get a new cable. I, I ordered a new cable off of Amazon, and so far it's actually working really well. I wasn't sure at first. I, there was like a, you know, I tried plugging it in and making sure it'd still turn on. And then, you know, sometimes I thought the fans in this, it had been a while and some of the keys were starting to not work properly. So I decided I would take the back off and give it a good clean, take some of the keycaps off and give those a clean to help the keyboard work better. I also realized that sometimes with this generation Mac, they try to make them thinner. The keyboards sometimes break down over time and they would replace it if you've only had it for four years and you go to get a battery replacement. But I've had that way longer than that, so getting the battery replaced, I wouldn't get the keyboard for free. So there's, there's, there's that there. But I tried, first I tried to take the back off because there's these little, little screws up top here, right? Little five pointed start. And I have this big kit that I use for my work on sets and stuff like that to, and like, I like fiddling with electronics but it, it not, nothing was the right size. So it was like, okay. So I ordered another thing off of Amazon, took it apart, cleaned out everything in it, hoping to not destroy anything. I used some isopropyl alcohol. I used 
compressed air. I used everything. I used a little scraper. Basically, I made a, I, you could make an ASMR video of me cleaning this, and it was so dirty. Like, I've had this laptop for seven, eight years now, and all that dirt was just accumulated in there. And I think it started running a little better since I cleaned it out. When I closed it up, I was just hoping that it would turn back on. And thankfully it did. But I was sitting there thinking, what if it just doesn't air? I, I, basically, I wanna extend the life of this as much as possible. Because you, you can sometimes see the end coming near, but I, I wanna make it last properly. I wanna give it the TLC and show it the love that it's shown me, because I put it through its paces, I tell you, And it's still kicking after potentially it could have caught on fire inside with all the dust and the fans were blocked and it was a whole thing it was disgusting in there and the keys they're 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 a little fidgety still and sometimes you have to press them a lot to get it to work but we're we're hanging in there you know i'm not somebody I, sometimes i'm sentimental but i just i i was i think i was raised in a way that i like to make things last and i like to give things proper care that's what I've been trying to do with this computer. We've been through a lot together. You know, it's at a, at a certain point, this computer has seen me go through more different things than people in my life have. You know, people come and people go, but somehow this right here has been through it all. And I was sometimes not always kind to it. I would put it through its paces and it's still here. So, I don't know, it's it's like a special, special bond, if you'll say. <laughs> this is the part where you make a, uh, a like a romantic montage with your computer. But it's, it's, you know, I know someday it'll kick the bucket and that'll be sad to see it go, but I'm trying to, trying to make it last a little bit longer. And I think we can all learn from that to, you know, give our technology, give our things the, the love that they need to, to work better and then we'll consume less and we can be more mindful about our choices and ultimately save money. Maybe, maybe make a little fraction of a difference into the environment if possible, who knows. But for now, it's still kicking and I intend to keep it that way. Even though my MacBook almost killed me and caught on fire. But thankfully, it didn't. Just check your cables, clean your computers. Trust me, it'll be worth it. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. As always, remember to work hard, rest often, and I'll see you on the next one.